Hello, and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to use customized music to drive visual effects using Sonic Fire Pro 6 and the Continuum 11 effects suite. Let's go ahead and open up Sonic Fire Pro 6. I've already picked out a track from the music library, so let's go ahead and load it into our project. Simply drag and drop the track into the timeline. It'll have the duration specified in the top left. For our video, we want something a little shorter, around 10 seconds. So we can actually just drag it to the new length, and Sonic Fire will automatically create a version that fits the new duration perfectly. However, for our effect, we want a variation that's a bit more exciting. Go into the Inspector and select a different variation from the drop-down menu. Now that the track is ready, we need to get it into After Effects. To speed things up, we're going to use the Sonic Fire Pro After Effects plugin. To invoke the plugin, go to the File menu in After Effects and choose Smart Sound. On the dialog window, click Start New. This will create a connection to Sonic Fire Pro. Back in Sonic Fire Pro, choose the Send to Plugin Host option from the File menu and choose Adobe After Effects. The audio file now appears in the After Effects Media Browser. Let's rename it to Full Mix since we want to drive our effect with multiple stems. Now we can drag it into the timeline and play it back. Since the beat and synth are driving different effects, we need those instruments separately as stems. We can just grab them straight from Sonic Fire Pro 6. In Sonic Fire Pro 6, use the icon to the left to show all of the track stems. First, we want the drums, so let's solo them. Now simply send the drums back to After Effects. Same procedure for the synth layer. Now that the music is ready, let's build the effect. We're going to create a new solid layer. From the Continuum 11 effect suite, we're going to use Organic Strands. It's a very nice 3D particle effect that we can do a lot of different things with. By default, we get some warm, curly 3D strands facing outward. I'm going to switch to the next preset. This looks a little bit more like what we want. You can customize the strands in any way you like. Feel free to experiment with all the different parameters. I'm tweaking different properties such as length, taper, and density. It's pretty straightforward since you get to see the result instantly. For our effect, we're going to set the strand direction to left. Since the beat is animated symmetrically, we want to mirror the effect. Go to Effects, Mirror Mode, and select Left. Now we're going to add a spherical field for the bass drum. Open Sphere Warper 1 and increase its strength. By default, the spheres are a little off-center, so let's set its position back to 960 pixels. We'll increase the radius to 400, which gives us a pretty good idea of what it'll look like. For the animation, we're going to use Beat Reactor, which is also a part of Continuum 11. As a bonus, it's also built directly into organic strands, so we don't actually need to generate keyframes and then link them with expressions. It all works on the fly. As your host sound layer, select the Beat layer. Now we get an EQ analyzer where we can pick out certain frequencies to drive our effect. It looks like we have found our kick drum. Let's sample the area where the amplitude is the highest. Apply the parameter to spherical field 1 radius, which is the center orb we created for the kick drum. There are a few more parameters we need to adjust for the effect to look satisfying. I'm setting effect on parameter to replace value so it ignores the sphere's size we set previously. 
output min is the sphere's default size and output max is triggered size. As falloff, we'll set quadratic hard so we get a nice snappy decay after the punch. I'll also slightly increase the falloff time. Let's turn off the beat reactor graph and have a quick look. Looking pretty good so far. Now let's set up the snare. When the snare triggers, we want the lines to spread a little and become wavier. Set parameter B to control random bend with propagation. Propagation essentially makes the bend look a bit more organic and fluid. Like before, parameter B also needs a little fine tuning. As a last step, we'll sample the snare frequency so that it triggers parameter B. Let's see what that looks like together with the kick drum. For the final shot, we added another organic strands layer for the synthesizer, 3D camera movement, and a bit of fast film glow, also from Continuum 11. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in digging deeper, you can find the source files for this project in the video description.